Good afternoon. Welcome to the Effective Interviewing Skills Workshop. My name is Ksenia Wignan and I'm with the Employment and Training Services at the City of Windsor. So this is what we're going to be covering today. How to prepare and research for an effective interview, appropriate attire, star, which I'll explain in a minute, and phone and virtual interview. We're going to cover both. So in preparing for an interview, you want to first start with researching yourself. Self-evaluation prior to going into the interview. You're going to look at your abilities, your goals, your experiences, your personality, your strengths, your weaknesses, your likes and your dislikes. So in researching yourself, you want to identify accomplishments and provide concrete examples. For example, have you created or developed something? Have you been promoted or received an award? Have you reduced cost or increased profit? Have you solved a problem or handled an emergency situation? Have you achieved a difficult deadline or a goal? Have you taken on a project that was not part of your job? So now you're going to research the occupation, the job that you're applying for. You're going to match your abilities and interests to the job posting. So take a look at the job posting. Match your abilities, your skills. The first place you're going to match those up with is the job posting. The second place you're going to match those up with, you can look on what we call the NOC website. That is www.5.hrsdc.gc.ca forward slash NOC. All jobs in Canada have a four digit code and you will find all of them here where you will look up the job duties and this is where you will find what you would be doing in that job, in that occupation that you're applying for. And you're going to match up your skills with those job duties. Another place that you can look is Workforce Windsor Essex under job seekers. You can also look on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a valuable information asset. You can also do informational interviews, which we will go over shortly. So informational interviews accomplishes the following. You're going to learn about the occupational field. You're going to get to know people working in the field, and it's a very valuable networking opportunity. You're also going to learn about the company because informational interview, you're talking to an insider in that company. So let's go back to preparation for the interview. You have researched the organization, the organizational structure, the products, the services, the company history, future plans, super important, and recent events. Now, where are you going to find this information? You're going to look on company literature, internet in general, do a Google search, LinkedIn, informational interviews, and networking. So some questions that you can definitely expect, and I would highly suggest you rehearse these before the interview. One of those is, tell me about yourself. So they want to know your education, your training, your experience from previous jobs. Also, why are you interested in this position? Use the company information that you've researched and found out about them to give them a little compliment here. What are your weaknesses? Now, just to touch upon this briefly, because we have a lot of questions always about this, is you're going to pick out something that is an actual weakness that you've identified and you let them know. I've identified typing as my weakness. And I've gone on to take typing courses, and I've improved my typing speed from 40 to 60 words a minute. Or if the job requires public speaking, and you're were an introvert, or you're a very shy person, and you didn't have a lot of experience, you can let them know that you have taken a Toastmasters class so that you have improved your public speaking. So something that you've identified as a weakness, and then you've done something about it to improve it and you're working on that or you have worked on that and you've overcome that. 
So what do you know about our company is also a very typical question. This again is where you're going to let them know that you've done your research about them. How does your experience fit with our position requirements? Again, you've matched up your skills and abilities to what they're looking for. So any additional courses, training, self-improvement, and staying up to date. And again, this is, you've already done your research, you know how to answer this question. Some more questions are, what can you tell me about our department's goals and needs? Again, you've researched them, so you're on the right track. Give an example of a time when you had to make an important or difficult decision and how did you make that decision? So we're going to go into that a little bit more with the behavioral based interview questions. Describe a time when you had to work as a team to meet a collective goal. Again, behavioral based question, we're going to cover that. How do you deal with conflict with another coworker or a person while at work? Again, behavioral based. So here we go with the behavioral based interviewing. This type of interview is based on the notion that a job candidate's previous behaviors are the best indicators of future performance. So in behavioral interviews, the interviewer asks the candidate to recall a specific instance. So it can't be something very general. Specific instance that they were faced with a set of circumstances and how you reacted. So to answer questions effectively, we use STAR. You have a situation or a task, your action, and then what it resulted in. So prepare and give qualifications and anticipate questions. Be believable and have a positive attitude. So in presenting yourself, you're going to look at your dress and grooming. One step just as long as it's one step more conservative than what you would wear at the position. So if you are interviewing for a general laborer in a factory, you don't want to show up for an interview in a three-piece suit. Okay, so accessories should be understated. Don't wear anything that is going to take attention away from your words and how you present yourself at an interview. Personal grooming and hygiene, just make sure that there's no, you know, your hair's not sticking up, you don't have anything stuck in your teeth, because again, you don't want them distracted from your words and how you, what you can bring to the position. Avoid perfume and cologne for in-person interviews. Of course, um, it's different over the phone. And if you smoke, avoid smoking prior to the interview for in-person interviews again. And Cover tattoos and piercings if you can, and check the mirror always before you go in for your interview. Uh, manners and attitude. Being on time is late for most employers. So that means arrive 10 to 15 minutes early. Turn off your cell phone, don't put it on buzz mode, and be courteous to others that you come in contact with, you, in, come in contact with especially the office staff. So how is your body language going to look? Make sure that you have good posture. You're making eye contact, whether you're in person or even if it's a virtual interview. Use formal language and do not fidget. What do you want to bring with you to an interview? Several copies of your resumes because you might be handing them out to an interview panel and then you might want to have one for yourself in front of you. Several copies of references, again, so you can hand them out to the panel. And copies of letters of recommendation if you have them. A blank paper and pen if they allow it. Copies of relevant educational documents. And copy of, a job ad of the job advertisement. There's, there are some illegal questions that you should never be asked in an interview. And that is age, religion or creed, family marital status, disability, gender identity and gender expression, race and related grounds, sexual orientation, receipt of public assistance, or a record of offenses. 
So at the end of an interview, they always ask, do you have any questions for us? So here are some suggestions. Performance appraisal. Ask them, is there a performance appraisal? Can I, um, will I be getting any feedback on my job performance? Examples of skills from previous experience and how would it fit with this role? So if you have done similar roles in the past, you can always ask them, would this, how would this fit in with, your, with this position that I'm applying for? You can always ask them, what's the next step in the recruitment process? What is the time frame? And you can always ask them, is there anything else I can provide you? Any other information? Any other questions that I can answer that would be helpful in getting a clearer picture? So in closing the interview, you're going to look for an opportunity to briefly summarize your qualifications and how they appear to meet the needs of the employer. Provide a list of references and testimonials as appropriate. If the next step in the process has not been explained, ask for clarification. Thank the interviewer or interviewers. Ask for a business card or their contact information so you can send a thank you email. So let's take a quick look at a phone interview. There are two scenarios here. So if it's unscheduled, an employer just calls you out of the blue, unless there is a very valid reason why you are unable to answer their questions, for example, if you're driving, then take time to speak to them when they call. And I actually highly suggest, if you are driving, unless you're on your way to an appointment or to pick up your child from school, pull over and take the call. So the other scenario is scheduled interviews. Treat the phone interview seriously. Research the company, study the job description, practice your responses to anticipated questions, so you're going to do exactly the same as an in-person interview. You're going to have your resume and cover letter in front of you. You can make a cheat sheet here that will sit right in front of you with critical points that you want to make in terms of skills and experiences and strengths. You're going to want to make sure that you have a reliable phone line available. Still, please shower, groom, and dress appropriately. S stand up or sit at a desk. Don't lay on your couch. They can hear it. Please don't do anything like washing dishes while you're on an interview. They can hear everything. So here's something new is virtual interviews. And I think we're going to be coming doing these a lot more often. So be sure to have a reliable connection and know how to connect to, require, to the required program ahead of time, like Zoom. So many people are using Zoom right now. Dress the same as if you were attending an in-person interview from head to toe. Be sure, be sure the area that can be viewed by the interviewer is appropriate. Neat, clean, no competitors, brands visible, no laundry basket hanging off the kitchen table. <laughs> Have childcare in place if needed and be in a quiet, isolated place where there will be no noise or distractions. Smile and try to look at the camera to create eye, cont eye contact and maintain good posture. So we always want to follow up after an interview. If someone else is selecting, selected the time, contact the interviewer. Request feedback and suggestions for improvement. Don't say, why didn't I get the job? Don't say, why didn't I get the job? Instead, say, I understand another candidate was selected. Could I get some feedback and suggestions for improvement? I'm very interested in working for your company if a future opportunity arises. By doing this, it provides you with valuable feedback leaves a positive impression and shows motivation if another opportunity does arise at that company especially. So just wanted to touch upon the WeSkills database, which is a, we collect resumes in here for both unemployed and underemployed individuals who are partnering with employment services. Searches are con then conducted to find potential matches with local employment and training opportunities. 
How it works, it's funded by the City of Windsor. Clients give us consent to submit their physical resumes and their information is inputted into this database. Employers and city contact the city contacts WeSkills office to support their hiring and employment search. Clients in the database are matched with opportunities. In information is collected on a regional and talents basis. So before we go, I just wanted to let you know about other workshops that we do have available, such as the resume workshop, job search workshop, which includes a searching for employment online, and second career information session. If you do have any questions, please give us a call at the number listed on the slide. If you could also take a moment to fill out our survey we would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining us today and I hope you receive some value.